Hello and welcome. We are with Elections Unlocked, the show that's your one-stop destination for all that's happening on the election battleground of 2024. Today, our top focus is that big battleground state of Maharashtra, 48 Lok Sabha seats, and it remains in many ways perhaps the most turbulent and, dare I say, unstable state in 2024. Lots of flux in alliance politics, both sides finding that it's not easy to hold alliances together and splits taking place everywhere. Now, with Lok Sabha elections just weeks away, the Shiv Sena today announced 17 candidates. But it means that there are seats where it could actually be taking on its own Mahavikas Agadi coalition partner, some of whom, like the Congress's Sanjay Nirupam, have already come out in the open and targeted the candidates of Shiv Sena, calling one of them a Khichdi Chor. What's exactly happening there? Why is Maharashtra's Mahavikas Agadi facing such turbulence? Take a look at this report. All is not well in the India block. Tensions escalate within the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi. The Shiv Sena UBT has declared candidates for 17 seats without waiting for a formal deal with its allies, Congress and NCP. Three of these seats, Sangli, Northwest Mumbai and South Central Mumbai are being claimed by state Congress leaders as well. Congress leader Sanjay Nirupam has hit out at Uddhav Thakre's party for fielding Amol Kirtikar from Northwest Mumbai. Kirtikar has been summoned by Enforcement Directorate in connection with alleged irregularities in the distribution of khichdi to migrants during the COVID-19 pandemic. Shiv Sena ne jo umidwar ghoshit kiya hai Uttar Pashchim ke liye, uske baare mein mein bhoomika pahle se aspast kar chuka hoon. Us umidwar ke upar भ्रष्टाचार का आरोप है ईडी के द्वारा छानबीन जारी है और ऐसे खिचड़ी चोर उम्मीदवार को शिवसेना ने हमारे सर पे थोपा है हम इसका सरासर विरोध करते हैं कांग्रेस के नेता यदि संजय निरुपम जी रोज टेलीविजन में आकर सोशल मीडिया में आकर यह बात कहेंगे कि अमोल भैया कीर्तिकर के ऊपर जांच शुरू है ईडी उनको पकड़ने आई है देखिए भैया किसी के ऊपर जांच शुरू होने से दोषी नहीं हो जाता आपके ऊपर अन्याय हो रहा है यदि आपको टिकट नहीं मिल रहा है तो आप कांग्रेस पार्टी से जाकर कहिए द वॉर ऑफ वर्ड एस कास्ट अ शैडो ऑन द ऑपोजिशन अलायंस विद शिवसेना यूबीटी एंड कांग्रेस बिजी स्पॉरिंग विद ईच अदर Many state Congress leaders have expressed fears that Sangli, a party stronghold, is being ceded to the Sena. In two days, the Sena has been given to the Sena. In the first day, the Sangli has been given to the Sena. The Sena 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 has been given to the Sena. The Shiv Sena UBT, however, claims the seat distribution has been finalized. NBA की तरफ से मतलब opposition में कोई कहने नहीं है। इसके साथ NCB के साथ कोई मजबूत नहीं है। हमने बैठकर पूरी मेहनत से तैयारी से ये लिस्ट बनाई है। मतलब कि ऐसा नहीं होगा कि आपके खुद के कैंडिडेट के एमबीए के कैंडिडेट के सामने किसी पार्टी का खुद का कैंडिडेट ये कहाँ भी नहीं होगा। कहीं नहीं होने वाला। कहीं � in the middle of all this, the other partner of Mahavikas Agadi, Prakash Ambedkar's Banchit Bahujan Agadi, has decided to go solo. Gatbandan ho raha hai, jisko hum log ke ek rajnitik ayam dene ja rahe hain, log isko swikarenge. Hum log ke maan ke chalte hain ki is samjote ke madhyam se ek nai rajnitik shurvat hogi. Joining hands with community-based organizations like OBC Federation and Maratha Community, Ambedkar alleged that the MVA was not ready to consider Manoj Jarangi Patil factor in alliance and that led to his decision to go on his own. Maharashtra with the highest number of Lok Sabha seats after Uttar Pradesh is witnessing a thriller. There are no clear favorites in this battle of BJP-led Mahayuti and opposition's Maha Vikas Aghadi. 
bickering over seats, however, could hurt prospects of both alliances as there would be more vote cutting than consolidation in this battle of ballot. With camera person Samir Shanbagh and my colleague Saurabh Bhaktania, myself Ritwik Bhalekar for India Today, Mumbai. Okay, joining me now to get a sense of the Shiv Sena strategy is its party two-time South Mumbai MP, also a candidate announced today. Arvind Savant joins me. Appreciate your joining us, uh, Mr. Savant. Uh, the Shiv Sena UBT, Uddha Barasaib Thakre has announced list for 17 seats today. But already there's a controversy, especially because you've gone ahead and announced tickets for seats like Sangli and Mumbai Northwest, which the Congress was hoping to get. It seems that Shiv Sena is taking decisions according to the Congress without even consulting them. Your response, sir? Who claimed that it is without consulting? Who claimed Congress, it sir. without consulting? The Congress. Someone who is not there in the committee. There are representatives mm. from their party. They are together. There can be a little bit of difference of opinion outside us. But within the committee, they are unanimous. They are united. They, I mean, discuss it for a long time mm -hmm. to decide to arrive to a final decision. And once a final decision you are arrived, it is liberty to the party to decide it. No, no, but Mr. Savan, did you tell the Congress uh, clearly that you will announce, for example, Mr. Kirtikar for the Mumbai Northwest seats that become that's become contentious? Did you tell them that Mr. Anil Desai will be chosen for Mumbai South Central, a seat that the Congress was eyeing? Did you announce your candidate, Mr. Patil, for Sangli by informing them? I'm just trying to understand. The Congress seems to suggest that the Shiv Sena has gone unilaterally and taken these decisions. How can you claim like this? I don't know. Who gives an information like this? How can you claim like this? Instead, you should appreciate that they have come together. They are declaring the list. The list will be finalized by their own party. Every party will decide their own candidate. Mm -hmm. The seat is to be given to whom? That is the final. We have this only announced 17. In mm -hmm. fact, we, we were supposed to get 22. I think the Honorable Sanjay Rauji has said he'll be, uh, he'll be able to tell you, elaborate on this issue. But I will not be able to elaborate on this issue because no, I am not the member of the Dutch Can party. I, since, you're a, since you're a leading light of your party from Mumbai, Take Mumbai uh, South Central. Varsha Gaikwad, the Mumbai Congress chief, was hoping to get that seat. Uh, take a look then at uh, Mumbai Northwest, which has really become contentious because Sanjay Nirupam, formerly with your party, then with the Congress, was hoping to get that seat. He's now come openly against your candidate there, Gajana, uh, Mr. Kirtikar, and said that he, Amol Kirtikar, and said that he's a uh, Kichdi Chor. Kichdi scam chore. How do you respond to the fact that these are the kind of open remarks being made which give the impression that all is not well in your Agadi? Sanjay Nirupam has uh, said something which is outside it and secondly the party knows it what is Sanjay Nirupam. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows what Sanjay Nirupam is and what sort of thinking he, has, he is carrying. And therefore, you know, since beginning, it's not the new after the announcement. Since beginning, he is demanding. And we were saying that these are the seats where Shivasena would have won the seats. It's not that we, we are claiming the seats which the Congress has won and we are snatching it away from them. Do you remember? There was Mr. Kirtikar, who was our MP from the same yes. constituency. So therefore, we were saying that they have, did, we have, they have betrayed us. But it doesn't mean that we have left the, the entire Shiv Sena has betrayed us. One man has gone, but the seat remains with the Shiv Sena. And that is why we were insisting since beginning. And according the seat belongs to Shiv Sena. There's nothing new, I mean. How can he claim that? On the contrary, we have sacrificed two more seats. One is at Kolapur, where you, must, you, or you yourself know it, that the two gentlemen from Kolapur who are MPs Pajjau. of Shiv Sena, both the seats belong to Shiv Sena. One at Nagpur belong to Shiv Sena. The sitting MP is from Shiv Sena. We have given it to Congress. Ramtek we have given to Congress. Kolapur, Honorable Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj is contesting, but contesting from Congress, not an independent one. So our sitting seats we have given to you. Mm -hmm. So therefore I don't think there, we have sacrificed it. So everywhere you cannot do the same thing. 
<laughs> no, no, you're, you're saying you... No, no, you're saying you've sacrificed some of your winning seats for the Congress, but can I also look at Prakash Ambedkar, who today has announced that he's breaking with the, the alliance and going to contest on his own? Where does that, again, leave your Mahavikas Agadi? The sense I'm getting is that you all are splintering and your vote will therefore get divided and it's advantage BJP. The anti-BJP vote is getting going to get divided in Maharashtra, the sense one gets. I think uh, this is the same thing, what you are putting right now in front of me. Honorable Prakash Ambedkar should think of it very seriously. Because the, there is a threat to the constitution of India, which has been written by the great patriot, our leader, Bharat Ratna Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. And if that threat is to be demolished, destroyed, you want to destroy that threat, then we have to sacrifice somewhere. We cannot be uh, dictating terms on everywhere. You have to sacrifice. I, I really, personally, I respect him a lot for his knowledgeable things. You know, he is a knowledgeable person. But I don't understand how he is knowledgeable, whatever knowledge he possesses he, about the social or socio-economic. is really appreciated. But the political uh, stand when he takes, it is, it is contradictory to his uh, attire, you, in terms of the status. Uh, how he speaks like that, I don't know. Now I'm really, I think um, Prakash Ambedkar Sahib should think seriously, introspect. By doing so, by doing so, when he says that the present government is anti-constitution, uh, by doing so, is he, he should think to whom he is helping right now. You know, uh, the, uh, Arvind Savanji, tell me, you're contesting from Mumbai South. Uh, this is a seat where you last time defeated Milin Deora, very prestigious seat. Milin Deora was then in the Congress. The big question is, will that Congress voter now shift to the Shiv Sena, the UBT Shiv Sena, or indeed that really is the big question in Maharashtra. Will voters who are now seeing these shifting alliances actually be ready to vote for some other party simply because they are allies now? That's going to be the challenge, isn't it? How confident are you of that, that the Congress voter today will vote for you tomorrow in South Mumbai? You know, Congress voters, one of the MLAs from con Congress uh, is from the Mumbai Devi constituency, Mr. Mm -hmm. Amin Patel. Mm -hmm. Who are the voters? You know it. And they are the voters. They will never ever vote BJP at all. And they will vote only the Alliance Agadi candidate. And Agadi candidate is Arvind Savan. Mm -hmm. It's not only Shiva Sena, it's Congress. It's NCP, it's Samajwadi, it's um, communist. All are coming together. All five fingers are together. So not to worry about this. We are. I'm going to win, and I'm going to win with a thumping majority. Whatever majority I uh, got earlier, this time it will be higher than that. Let Let me ask you one final question then. Uh, when I speak to BJP leaders, they claim they have a mission 40 at least in Maharashtra. That's 40 out of 48 seats. Uh, they claim that they are on target for that. How do you respond uh, when the BJP claims they have a mission 40? How will the MVA, the Mahavikas Agadi, do? How many will you get? I think you are most, uh, you can say, uh, uh, report, uh, 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 you can say the, the one of the main, most uh, adored reporter, analyzer, political analyzer of this country. You yourself touch your heart and say, will they cross 400? Will they cross 400? It is I the hype that's... they are creating. These are the illusions they are creating. This is one more illusion. They will get 40. Forget it. Right now, right on the wall, they will not cross even 20. Forget, forget that. They will not be able to cross even 50 to 20. Okay. Arvind Savant, I'm going to write what you just said. You're claiming, therefore, that you still have the edge in Maharashtra. It's the state we look very closely at. I appreciate you joining us on a day when the Shiv Sena has announced its first list of 17 candidates. Just as an aside, I can tell you that one of those candidates, uh, Amol Kirtikar, found the Enforcement Directorate notice within hours of his name being declared. And he could well be fighting his father, Gajanan Kirtikar, who's contesting from well, could contest or is a sitting MP from the Shinde Sena. That's the nature of politics in Maharashtra. 
at the moment. Let's turn from there to our next story. It was the last day of filing nominations for phase one of the Lok Sabha polls 2024. From K. Annamalai, the Tamil Nadu BJP leader in Coimbatore, to Nitin Gatkari in Nagpur, to Dayanidhi Maran in Chennai, top netas filed their nomination form for the 102 constituencies that will go to polls in the first phase on April 19th. Take a look. The deadline to file nominations for phase one of the Lok Sabha elections is over. Tamil Nadu BJP chief K. Anamalai filed his nomination from Coimbatore. Before filing nominations, he offered prayers at the Arulmigu Koniamman temple. Anamalai also held a roadshow with senior BJP leader and MLA Vanati Srinivasan. The mood is very clear. The people of Coimbatore parliamentary constituency are with us. We are very clear that people will bless us on April 19. And June 4 will clearly say that Tamil Nadu and Coimbatore, everywhere people, people are with Narendra Modi. Former Union Minister and DMK MP Dayanadi Maran filed his nomination from Chennai Central. The Prime Minister didn't even come once to Chennai. He has come for other programs, inauguration programs. He comes and says, so I say, wanna come to Chennai, but he has no love for Tamil Nadu. Probably he can read good from the uh, 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 teleprompters, but he's not able to read the minds of hearts of people of Tamil Nadu. He's facing Vinod Selvam from the BJP and B. Parthasati from the DMDK. Another DMK candidate, Tamirachi Tangapandian, filed her nomination from Chennai South on Tuesday. She held a public rally today where cranes were used to shower flowers and garlands on her. Tangapandian is facing BJP's Tamarisai Sandarajan, who recently resigned as Telangana governor to take the poll plunge. In Maharashtra, Nitin Gadkari filed his nomination from Nagpur. Before filing his papers, he held a roadshow accompanied by Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis. The fates of candidates who filed nominations in the first phase will be decided on April 19th. Bureau report, India Today. Let's give you a quick wrap of what else has been making the headlines at the moment today. Congress ticket uh, Natak has uh, erupted in Karnataka. Karnataka mantris at war over a Kolar ticket fee. Congress MLAs threatening to resign. Chief Minister Sidharamaya admitting there was a fight there within party ranks. Arvind Kejriwal moving the Delhi High Court to quash his enforcement directorate arrest. Mrs. Kejriwal reading out an emotional message from the Chief Minister in lockup, saying no money has been recovered in the liquor gate. Let's scam yet. The Amadmi party, though, suffered a bit of a double jolt in Punjab. AAP's lone MP from Jalandhar, Sushil Kumar Rinku, joined the BJP. AAP's Jalandhar MLA also jumped ship amidst protests from the party. The Election Commission has cracked the whip on Netas accused of making sexist remarks. Sources say the poll body sending a show cause notice to Supriya Srinet for her uh, sexist slur against Kangana Ranot, which she has denied. And Dilip Ghosh of the BJP being sent a, a notice for his father Jai or questioning Mamta Banerjee's ancestry. Okay, let's turn to what I call our only in India, or only in Indian election segment. Tamil Nadu's Ramnathapuram Lok Sabha constituency has caught the attention for a curious reason. While former Chief Minister O. Paneer Selvam filed his nomination today as an independent, four others, four others with the same name and initials have also filed their papers the very next day. Here's a report on Paneer Selvam politics. OPS 1, OPS 2, OPS 3, OPS 4, OPS 5. That's right. It's OPS versus OPS versus OPS versus OPS versus OPS in Ramanathapuram constituency in Tamil Nadu. It's a scene right out of a movie. 
A total of five people, including former Chief Minister O. Panir Selvam, with the exact same name, the same initials, O. Panir Selvam, have filed nominations as independent candidates from Ramanathapuram constituency. <laughs> And each of them are fighting his independence, including former CM OPS after he lost the symbol battle in the courts. So add to the chaos over election symbol. He's now facing an identity crisis too in his constituency. For voters in Ramanathapuram, they're going to have to pick from an ocean of OPSs. Bureau report, India Today. Okay, it's time to wrap up this edition of Elections Unlocked there. We leave you this evening with a special video. Uh, the Communist Party of India Marxist in West Bengal on Monday unveiled an artificial intelligence anchor, Samata, ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha election speaking in Bengali. Samata greeted the people of Bengal for Holi. Listen in how she announced the JNU election results, which of course the left won. Good night, goodbye. Shubhratri Jain, who knows? Next time, you'll have a Namushukar, anchor being replaced by a politician. I'm AI Madhume Toini Kora, CPIM West Bengal Air Action Shanchalika. Apnader Shabai ke Ronger Utshobe Shubhicha. Ebasore Ronger Utshobe Amader Upohar Lal Abire Jainu. Ar Amar Shathe Apnader Dakha Habe, CPIM West Bengal Air Facebook page or YouTube channel. Apnader Shabar Motamot Ar Bhalobashar Opekhai Ruilam Amra.